Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is Video True and welcome to Airships Conquer the Skies, a tiny little indie game with big, big ideas. Because this little tiny game wants to basically be a giant steampunk airship builder and scrapper and also giant campaign thing. So, top marks for ambition. So, probably the best place to start this off is here inside the tutorial, to be specific, the actual final mission of the tutorial, where you actually have to build your own warship out of all sorts of various components, and then take on an enemy warship with it. So basically what this game is about is building modular airships, putting them together into fleets, and using them to take out other airships, thereby expanding your territory. Except, yeah, it's all very... Uh, Nice and interesting, and there's a lot more depth than you might originally think. So over here we've just got a list of the basic components, stuff that you pretty much need to make a ship fly. So for example, we've got ourselves a suspendium chamber right there, so that helps the ship fly. So it's probably a good idea we actually have some of that, except of course that's also going to need some fuel. So a coal store. Now the coal store ought to go right next to the suspendium chamber. Because this isn't just stuff that the ship needs, little guys are going to be running all around inside your ship, moving things from where they're actually stored to where they're required. So keeping, you know, ammo next to guns, keeping coal next to suspendium, keeping everything next to where it should be, a very, very good idea indeed. In fact, the game rather conveniently does tell you the things that you specifically need. So yeah, right now the ship is its absolute basics, needs to actually have a supply hatch so that it's actually a way in and out of the ship. It needs a crew and it needs propulsion. So okay, I think we can handle that. We'll just shove one propeller at the back. The propeller also needs coal, so conveniently, the coal, the suspending chamber, and the propeller all lined up absolutely flipping spot on. It's also going to be needing a crew, so what we probably need to give that is one bridge up top there, and indeed some quarters right next to the bridge. Lovely. So now there's a whole bunch of crew, and the crew that are in the quarters are also being automatically assigned to where they logically ought to be. Marvellous. We also need that there supply hatch, because yeah, this is just like a, a fake side on cutaway view. There needs to actually be like, you know, a door. So as a result of that, we'll just kind of put another one in there. There we go. Now as a result of that, we've actually got ourselves a ship that technically is able to fly. However, it doesn't actually have any guns yet. So how about we just start and we actually see what we're taking on. Because right now we've spent, yep, $379 out of 2000 total. So very often the limiting factor is how much money you've got going on. So probably best we just dive in and see what my opponent is and then we can build the ship appropriately. So start here and uh, oh dear. We're a little bit outclassed there because this ship has got four cannons up front. But more importantly, it's made out of wood because that is wooden armour, not actually any form of metal armour. So it being light armoured means, yeah, actually, we're probably very, very well suited to taking it out if I just put some special light armaments on it. Marvellous. Now, obviously, in this exact form, I'm going to get absolutely flipping torn to shreds, because I, you know, don't have any weapons. I could, in theory, just kind of try and stand over the top of them. There we go. Now we're actually, yeah, out of their range. Ooh. Did you guys show up without any actual means of moving? Is that what you did, you stupid bastards? Right, well, I think I've got an idea in that case. You see, there's a whole variety of weapons I could actually put on my ship. So, for example, yeah, cannons are pretty darn good at tearing through most armour, but, you know, they're a bit heavy and a bit expensive and all of that business. As we're actually going up against a light ship, a rifle is an awful lot cheaper. $17 versus $79. And against basic wooden armour, a rifle will work just flipping fine. But, even better, we've got ourselves, yeah, grenades. Grenades are interesting. Also, there's another interesting thing here, which is um, the range of fire. So, a cannon, that's its firing arc. But a rifle, a rifle has a much wider firing arc. So, a rifle can basically shoot straight down. So, that is... Uh, Certainly something we might want to keep in mind, that a rifle could actually shoot straight down at people below it. But, yeah, what I'm really, really interested in is... Just get rid of that cannon, by the way. Yes, the grenade teams. So, grenade teams could potentially drop grenades if I could just get above that airship, if it's actually truly incapable of moving. Now, that's of interest. But, that needs to actually be set up. Yeah, I can have a couple of them there. So they can just basically toss those over the top here. But, if I were to just use basic structural components, yeah, corridor with a ladder, 
I could have that and that and that. And actually, wait, do they need to be... They might just be further apart than that because the grenade... Yeah, the grenade guy might need a little bit more space. So if I just basically shove that there, grenade can go there. So he can just basically, yeah, toss down over there. I can probably fit another one in. Let's see if the game's actually going to allow me to do that. So, no, I'm not allowed to do that. But I could put a flipped grenade on this side. So basically now we're mainly focusing on grenades and gunners. So this is a cheap light ship. Now I could slap heavier armor on it. Absolutely. Right up to, ooh, dragon hide and all of that business. However, if I were to slap that on, hang on, we'll just kind of put a little bit on here, for example. You can see it's getting more expensive. And in addition, the actual service ceiling is going down, i.e. the height that this ship can fly to because it's getting heavier. And in addition, as I add more and more systems and more and more guns, I'm going to need more crew. So right now, the recommended crew to have this thing running at full capacity is 18. I've only got the capacity for 12. So probably what I want to do is find a way to add on an extra set of quarters for some more crew. So I think I can just... Yeah, right now, that doesn't actually fit anywhere. Hang on, I need to actually find a way to plug all this together. So just give me another corridor with ladder... That doesn't actually... Oh, dear. Right, hang on. That goes to there. That goes to here. There we go. Now it all fits together and everything's lovely. In fact, actually, I might even be able to fit an extra set of... Yeah, there we go. More grenade people over there. Absolutely lovely. Uh, just remove this module. That's unnecessary. Yeah, basically, you've just got to make everything fit together. So ultimately, there does need to just be a nice big white line connecting all of these different parts. Other important things we haven't really touched on yet is, there we go, an ammo store. Because, you know, right now the ship's got no ammunition, so it can't actually fire. So the ammo store, we probably want to put, well, really, we want to keep that as close to the actual weapons uh, as possible. So this is quite a badly designed ship in some ways, because these two guys over here, it's going to take quite some time for someone to run over here, grab more ammo, and deliver it down to them. But we do at least still have some ammunition. But also bear in mind... Uh, Ammo is eventually going to run out. There's a finite amount of coal. There's a finite amount of ammo. Eventually, I won't be able to fire. I won't be able to move. But the same is also true for the enemy ships. And ooh, there's a lot I like here. You notice we'll have, we'll have a nice little fire point. This is basically, yeah, where the firefighters are. So crew 24, recommended crew 24. So everything should be running at 100% efficiency. And if anything like catches fire or there's damage or whatever, especially once I actually stick a nice repair crew up here... Now recommended crew be 26, so we're a little bit short-handed, but we'll do the job. The repair crew will try and run around and repair anything that gets damaged. The fire crew will try and put out any fires, and my gunners and grenaders should all do a lovely job as well. Marvellous. So, new ship. Now what we need to do is, yeah, plan, move, and, ah, you see, problem. Problem here, which is our service ceiling is now way, way, way too low. I can't go over this point, and because these guys are lighter than me, they can. This ship is set up to get above the enemy and then toss grenades down on them. So right now, this is not flipping working. Instead, we're just slowly being flipping murdered here. And yeah, you can keep an eye on what's going on. So a crew member has been killed. Coal is slowly ticking down as well. Ammo's going down. One of my guys should have a shot. So if we zoom in here, my rifle guy is actually taking some pot shots and has managed to successfully do some damage. So well done to that guy, but also other bits just being shot off my ship and literally components will be shot off your ship. Occasionally everything just falls the hell apart. It's kind of nice, I just like it. Especially when everyone starts running around inside the ships, you can actually watch everyone trying to do their job. Still, get as high as you can and now my actual grenade lads can do something at least. There we go. Get some damage in. Get some damage in. He's actually retreating down. That works. Get as close and as high as you can. And sadly, he has actually decided to pull above me. Get out the way, get out the way, get out the way. I think actually my service ceiling is rising because... Oh, hang on. Yeah, my service ceiling is actually rising because my ship is... My ship, yeah, bits have fallen off it. But now I'm on the ground and now I'm being shot. So, we need to actually make this thing lighter. So if I want my plan to actually work, it can actually get above the enemy. So, 
couple of changes that probably need to be made at this point, which is... One, riflemen. Riflemen are extremely cheap and can actually aim up. So if we had a large pile of riflemen, that would probably be good. So those riflemen can do a beautiful job just shooting at the enemy ship. And then if we do happen to get on top of it, that will all be absolutely fine. Now we also probably want to, yeah, just increase that service ceiling. Get rid of all this armor. What's most important to me is not armor. I want the lightest flipping armor you've got. I want this ship to be fast and have a ridiculously high service ceiling. Now that, I think, is better suited. So... Here's my plan. I need to get as high as you like, as quickly as you like. So all I need to do the moment the battle begins is start rising. Just get up and their service ceiling is probably going to be significantly below ours. And then their cannons can't do anything anymore. That's the thing. Look at all these lovely grenades I've got right here. What are these guys going to do to me? Nothing. Because they've just got stupid, stupid cannons. Now, he's probably turned around right now. Yeah, he's trying to get back in range so his cannons can actually have a little bit of a shot. But if I just stay directly above him, then there's nothing he can do about it. So just keep moving over here. Don't let those cannons get a shot in. And just keep tossing those grenades down absolutely beautiful and then just yeah get round over here just keep firing and now we're just doing oh yeah now you're starting to see a bit of an impact he's gonna try and get some more hits in and also my ship's a little bit on fire because it's like you know made of wood and whatever i'd like to think the fire team are gonna bother doing their jobs uh you know some point or other that'll be just be flipping marvelous so yeah just Pull back over here, and then just start getting the grenades down. And Oh, I think my propeller just slightly broke there, and then I think we just basically... Okay, they're pretty screwed too. We are still flying. We're definitely still flying, and then... No, then we fell... Right, so we've fallen out of the sky, but on our way down, we've, we've hit them. Now... Technically, we lost that one, but I feel like in some ways we did win. I'm putting an extra special fire point right here, okay? Extra fire point, because I feel like potentially that's going to work out just flipping fine. Extra fire point, so we've got more water, we can put out more fires. I feel like fire screwed me over here, alright? I'm on to a good thing here, so all I want to do the moment this all begins is just get up top... Just, just move. Move as high as you can. But my service ceiling isn't what it once was. Because my service ceiling is unfortunately restricted by the extra weight of my new little fire capacity thing. But now, now my grenade lads are doing a good job. Now we just basically try and stay on top of him as far as we can. Except I can't move for the time being because we're taking some damage. But that's fine. Now we're okay. Move over the top of them. Oh, in come the grenades. In come those grenades, and now just stay right on top of him. Do not let those cannons fire. Let my gunners get some shots in. The gunners are just firing down on them. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, this is going better. This is going better. And now, oh. Now, all of a sudden, I think he can't actually move. So now if I just basically move down over here, I should have some nice accuracy there. And guys, 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 move, move over here. Flip yourselves right over this way if you'd be so kind. Move over there. And there we go. Now all my rifles basically can just fire into the rear of him. And now that he's grounded, there's nothing he can do. His suspendium chamber's screwed. And that means these cannons are stuck with a firing arc over here. So as a result of that, we can just basically get right up to him. And my rifles can just start tearing them apart. And at point blank range, rifles against light armor are just going to flipping shred that bastard. There we go. A little bit of extra fire control. That's all we flipping needed. Right, and yeah, sadly my grenade lads have got no targets. But my rifle lads most certainly do. And I think they're doing a lovely job as well. So how about I just basically, yeah, we move right over the top here. And then my grenade lads can actually... There you go. Now my grenade lads can contribute. And they are doing a lovely job as well. Though, yeah, they've got very, very limited and restrictive firing arcs. And... Uh, it does look very nice, doesn't it? 
It's a very attractive game for a tiny little indie. And the job is done. That ship has been destroyed. Even though our ship was almost certainly the cheaper and the less well armed, purely because we set up our ship to deal with theirs. And oh yes, this I like, damn it. So let's move on to something a little bit bigger here. Welcome to the Conquest mode, which is basically just, yeah, this tiny little indie game just has a grand campaign mode, because of course it does. So... House John over here, this is where I live, which is rather conveniently in purple, I do rather like that. And my neighbours, Vaxenford, uh, Lubbub, that is distinctly like Canada, and Ilquoma, that is distinctly like Spain to me, and Cocking Mercia, well we'll just stay away from them. Uh, and then Pogora, and Harsin, and up north, Tepid Falls. Every single one of them has various cities floating around, so for example, the city of Hatwick, and Oberhan and Okut, so every single one of these, ultimately, I might need to take out for myself, and I've also got a whole bunch of cities too. These cities are giving me income, so you can see for each city what the income I'm getting is, and obviously I want to defend my capital, because that's actually where I've got a shipyard, and where I'm getting loads of my income from. So right now I'm sitting on, yeah, banked a thousand dollars, and I'm gaining 116 every... I don't know, time, whatever time is in this game, I'm gaining a load of money anyway. And I start off with a very, very tiny little fleet. Right now I've got one ship, let's have a little look see at this. So this old girl is, uh, yeah, tiny. Tiny and not very good. Maintenance is only $12, so I've got a big surplus I could actually invest in a nice big new ship. This thing is small, it is light, it is fast, but what can it really do? It's armed with a couple of muskets. Simple firearms, effective on mass, but there's only two of them, not really on mass. Now, you may notice there's a fair few kind of components we didn't see in the tutorial. Yeah, there's um quite a lot of components, actually. So, if you want to, this is kind of more of like a, a blimp or a zeppelin thing. So, a suspendium dust tank. So, that's what that is right there. Together with suspendium chambers, which are a little bit more on the expensive side. And propulsion, not just propellers anymore. There's also engines, large propellers, different types of propellers. Flip propellers, small propellers. Lots of sails and double sails and triple sails and uh, all sorts of bits and pieces. Machine shop. I don't even know what a machine shop is. Uh, so, that is supply of parts. Okay, so that could potentially repair damaged things better than a repair shop can. And reinforced supply hatches, repair base, small ammo stores as opposed to bigger ones if you want to just kind of squeeze in some extra ammunition or what have you. Uh, yeah, there's a lot you can do here. An awful flipping lot. And also stained glass windows if that's your thing. That does literally nothing as far as I can tell. It's purely decorative. So, as that ship's a little bit on the small and weedy side, it's probably a good idea we build a new one. Before we do that, it's probably best we figure out what we're actually taking on. Now, who's my first target gonna be? Vaxen Ford down here. I do have the advantage of having, yeah, edge of the map and sea. So expanding down this direction doesn't seem to hurt me that much. Plus, these guys haven't got much to do other than attack me, unless they attack Canada. So probably Canada and Vaxen Ford are where I want to put my attention first. Meanwhile, we just hope that Pagora and Spain and Mercia and all these guys just basically deal with each other and we can just handle this side of the map down here. So, what I probably want to do first is, uh, yeah, send a spy over in that direction. So that spy will just head over there and that spy will tell me, having paid a bit of money to him, exactly what is here. So, once I just let him, you know, get himself embedded, then what I can tell him to do is, yeah, incite a revolt for $500, a bit expensive to be honest, or just tell him to straight up destroy the defensive thing. If I want to take this territory, I need to take this thing over. Now, we've got ourselves, yeah, what looks like a heavily armoured position featuring quite a few cannons. But while it's heavily armoured, it's limited in its firing arc. To my mind, that presents an interesting opportunity for the right ship. So we can immediately see what's going on there, but yeah, he's going to need to actually infiltrate the place before we can spend any money to just make it flip to us automatically. Fine. How's John? Time to design a ship. Oh, by the way, there's also land ships if you want to actually just kind of have yourself a massive rolly chunky tank thing. I haven't done much with them yet. Basically, they're very tough, but they're also very slow. I like airships because, you know, the game's called airships, so probably I should build an airship. So, money doesn't exactly grow on trees right now, and yeah, I've not got much of it. So probably what I need to do is uh, play things a little bit carefully here. A small suspendium chamber, 
will do just flipping fine. All right, that'll be absolutely fine. But one thing I did learn is you don't really want to have important stuff too exposed to the outside world. So as a result of that, yeah, what we actually need is, uh, ideally, the important stuff needs to be up top or otherwise hidden away. We want stuff that it doesn't really matter if it gets destroyed, logically, in a place where it's going to get shot. And also, I want my fire team right in the centre, please. Right in a nice central important spot where they can get everywhere nice and easy. Now, cannons would be lovely, but costing 79 a go, yeah, that's, that's not going to fly so much. Right now, I need to depend on lighter quality weaponry. So, basic rifles will do the job very well. So, the rifle does five piercing damage. That musket, that is... Actually, the musket is better. Interesting. Very, very interesting indeed. Maximum accurate range, 450 versus... Oh, wow. Okay, the rifle is much longer range. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm happy to have a few rifles. That's absolutely a flipping okay. So we're going to have a fair few rifles floating around here. But at the bottom of the ship, I want a team of grenade lads. Because that little thing that we need to take out... Yeah, if we can just get above it and drop grenades on it, that could do some lovely work indeed. Ooh, but there is a bomb bay right here. That's interesting. All right, rather than grenades, straight up bombers. Now that, that I like, yes. Now right now that's not connected to anything. So if I just put that there and put that there and now I just go over to, yeah, uh, structural and just build a special corridor with ladders. There we go. So now we've got ourselves some bombs facing downwards. Now unfortunately we need to keep these things firing. So that means I need to have... Uh, yeah, I need an ammo store in a convenient location. So, right now, where's the ammunition store? Yeah, big ammo store. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove that right there. Because I need the ammo store to potentially be able to get to the bombs a bit more easily. So, the ammo store gets priority. And that goes right there. The fire team then goes at the rear and... Uh, Alright, so I've immediately put the fire team in a bad location where they're going to struggle a little bit. Now... In terms of armor, what have I got available? Not that much yet because, yeah, there's a research system, so I need to research some more stuff. I wouldn't mind having some slightly tougher armor right at the front of the ship. Just a little bit of steel just for the front. Now, that is not that expensive, but it is going to slow down the ship a little bit. Now, if I'm charging straight at something, when I'm trying to just get up to it so that I can bomb it from above, at least I've got a bit of protection. The ship's got no crew right now, however, so that's kind of important. Now, if this is a bomber, then logically it's going to be above what it wants to attack. So therefore, I want the bridge and the crew quarters right up at the top where they'll be safest. Right, 12 crew, 14 minimum is what is required right now. If I just slap another one on there, that is, yeah, recommended crew is 22. So absolutely, I probably should have that many crew. That strikes me as eminently reasonable. Just need some basic structural stuff now just to link it all together. And then we should be more or less in good shape. What else do I want, by the way? Do I want a repair bay? I wouldn't mind a repair bay, you know. Go on then. Now, slight issue with this design. Can't help but notice that right now the surface ceiling is minus six. The ship is too heavy to fly. Right, we're going to need to spend more money on some better suspendium. Gotcha. Or we could just try and give it some more lift in a different way. Right, how else can I provide a bit of lift here? There we go. We just need to turn it into a little bit of a blimp. So we also just need to pop that there. This is a little bit on the expensive side, mind. But now, now it's got a very high service ceiling. This is going to burn a lot of money. Maintenance isn't too bad, though. Yeah, go on. We will give the Royal John a go. We'll see if this all works, though... Just for safety, I might just put an extra few struts here just to make sure, like, you know, this bit doesn't fall off. Because if this bit falls off, the whole ship just falls out of the sky. So, now that we've designed that ship, I can now build it. Though the game gives you a bunch of presets if you don't fancy building every individual ship. But, I instead am going to build the Royal John. So, that is going to be built. It's going to be called the Royal John. That's absolutely fine. Lovely. So, that is now going to be constructed. Though, it will take a bit of time. Right now, time is paused. Let's get time ticking along here. Luckily, with my nice little shipyard, shouldn't take too long to build. 
Anyone else invading anyone else, by the way, or are we good? No, nope, no one seems... To oh, there they go. Everyone's moving in and around. Good. I think Spain and Pagora are attacking each other. Oh, are you two attacking each other? Oh, this works for me. If you two just want to attack each other, that's absolutely flipping beautiful. So, at this point, I've now got myself two separate ships as part of a fleet. Because these two guys are going to travel around together unless I tell them not to. Though, I don't like that name. So, yeah, that, that's not so good. Let's give it a... Ooh, alligator! I like alligator. It's not really anything like an alligator. But I just like the word alligator. So, that's good. So, now I've got myself my brand new fleet here. So, what I probably want to do now is have my fleet invade this spot. So, as time ticks on now, my fleet goes over here and invades Ototh. Now, they seem to have actually caught on to that, and they're actually moving around here. Luckily, I've actually got a spy, so I can see what's going on here. They've got themselves... Ooh. They've got themselves a, a heavily armoured ship with a giant pile of cannons. Now, is it by any chance, you know, too late for me to actually pull out of, of this situation? Yeah, how about we, we don't do that, actually? How about we just kind of... Back off and we just move over here for the time being. Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna stay out of that. And there we go, the first conquest has occurred. And are you guys attacking me right now? Is that what you're doing? Are you heading into my territory? Because if you are, I'm going to be very, very annoyed. Yeah, enemy fleets moving to attack one of my cities. Right. Uh move to light jar. We are going to fight them. Because great. Now they're attacking me. <laughs> Alright, so this plan's gone to hell. Uh, okay. What are the defences like around here? My defences are, oh dear, light and wooden and rifles. This is no good at all. Now, I could actually, you know, edit the landscape and potentially build some new buildings here. But, probably we just let them have that. We just focus on trying to defend Light Jar for the time being. So, my ship moves over here. And should get to light jar just at a time. Though, yeah, in comes Vax and Ford. They've got the big-ass ship. I don't have a ship at all. Obviously, I can't move my building. So, as a result of that, we are just going to have to start. And, yeah, basically, they are going to bombard us with all of their weaponry. Which is heavy cannons. And, unfortunately, all I've got to return fire with is rifles. Now, their accuracy at this range isn't spectacular, so they're sort of missing, and some of these guys don't actually have targets. Obviously, I can't turn a building round. And they're actually moving into a position where I've still got a shot, but rifles against heavy armour is not going to do much. So, as a result of that, they're almost certainly going to beat us. So let's just speed this up, and actually, we've done a tiny bit of damage. Maybe, just maybe, we can actually hold them off here. Certainly there's a bit of fire going on. Maybe I've underestimated my rifleman. Go, you magnificent bastards, go! Only one guy is dead. This is actually, this is technically an iron fort, though it is a little bit on fire. Though I'm hoping the nice waterman will go and put the fire out, because that's your job. But never mind. Oh, it's starting to fall apart a little bit. The cannons can tear through iron, of course. We've done some damage to this ship. Maybe if I'd actually sent my ships to help and reinforce, my bomber could have done the job here. But sadly, the tower has collapsed. They have won. And as a result of that, yeah, the iron fort has been taken care of. That ship is damaged, but fine. I've lost some territory. That's a shame. Still, oh, have you decided to naff off and not fight? I thought you might have done. Right, so, send a spy over here. Yeah, view that city. Sadly, it looks like they've immediately been able to repair up this damage. And now they're trying to build something new. Yeah, they're actually bringing in new equipment. They're trying to build their own tower, though it's only a light tower. Now, can my two ships together potentially deal with this force? Because I'm not sure if they can. I might be better off. Well, actually, you know what? I've got the bomber. Screw it. Go. Uh, head over to Kranzberg. My two ships together... Oh, I really hope this is going to work. It probably won't. This game could be quite hard, you know. Right, so, what I've got is, yes, here we go. So, my plan is, this ship is just basically going to try and distract. My bomber needs to indeed start off as absolutely high up as it can do. So, it's in the perfect position already. All it needs to do 
is basically let this guy take the fire while this guy gets above and starts bombing. Right now, they've had the opportunity to build their new tower. So, start and then pause. So, obviously, these guys are going to be in trouble very, very quickly indeed. The important thing, however, is this ship just needs to get above this ship. So, begin moving and, yeah, there we go. You guys just get over there and this ship should momentarily... In come the bombs! Boom! 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 Oh, yeah. There we go. Just... Oh, is that... Are you hiding under an island? Because that would be really cocking clever of you. No, do not let him escape. Do not let him escape. Do not let him escape. Just get over there. Get over where he is. Just keep on moving here. Oh, that ship's in trouble. That ship's in a bit of trouble. Right, okay. Get over here and just intercept as best you can. That ship's starting to fall apart. This ship is slow. Okay, just get over there. Get over there and start bombing them as quickly as you can. Those guys are wise to me, unfortunately. They know what I want to do, and it's not good for them. Okay, keep keep on going here. Keep on going here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. And just keep on, keep moving. Keep on moving. But they do not want to let me get below. But we're almost at the edge of the map. Sooner or later, they're going to have no flipping choice. Oh, in come the bombs. In come the bombs. Yeah, there you go. And that's the... Is that the rear or the front of your ship screwed? I don't know. But in come more bombs. A little bit on the inaccurate side right now. They've got one gunner. I'm going to move in. Move in. Get closer. Get closer. My gunners are also trying to do their job. This ship is not technically dead yet. And come on, bombers. Oh, dear. Oh, I'm starting to lose everything. But I think they might... Uh oh Oh, I think we're going to take them with us. Yep, they're coming too. They're coming too. They're coming too. Um, okay. So, right. The Royal John is running out of coal. Honestly, that's, that's not the biggest problem right now. I think we just won. Yes. Yes, we did. So... We officially managed to take them out by crashing into them, which is an entirely valid military tactic. So we have just won. Marvellous. Oh, we lost the Royal John. No. The Royal John. Right, okay. Probably what we need to do is, uh, yeah, actually work on pushing the advantage here. Because, oh, Canada has already pushed the advantage here. Guys, uh, Probably, yeah, return to the shipyard, if you'd be so kind. We need repairs, and we need a new flipping ship. In fact, actually, we just need a new John, okay? Just build another Royal John. The Royal John did its job, like, you know, fairly well anyway. Now, the question is, what's actually going to come next at this point? Which is, oh, Spain is invading Canada. Anything else? No. All of this up here, this isn't bothering me right now. I need more ships. I don't know what's going on here. I need to keep an eye on Atoff. Yeah, Atoff is looking pretty good right now. As soon as the Royal John's finished, we can probably invade Atoff. Okay, and how are you? Um, okay, can we repair you, please? No, don't scrap. Yeah, repair. Please repair. Are you good? Yes, you're good. Fine, you just need to be in a shipyard to repair. Right, invade Atoff before they do... Okay, the Royal John decided to go and do that by itself. Um, can you just go and, like, join up with... Yeah, you two please join together, all right? I liked having an actual proper... There you go. Right, now invade a top. If I now lose a top because you had to turn back because of the repairs, I'm going to be really annoyed, but hopefully not. I think Vaxenford is pretty damn screwed right now, and we're going to get a top. Yeah, Canada's backing off. Good. Right, get over here. House John versus Vaxenford. It's time for revenge, you stupid bastards. All right, your stupid ship does not stand a flipping chance. Everyone get up as high as you can. Ah, but... Alright, your ceiling isn't as high. So, start and immediately pause. The safest place is going to be staying directly above. But not too directly above, because otherwise the other ship will also bomb you. So possibly the safest place for you is just to be above, but like, off to one side slightly. Yeah, that's probably fine. And as for you, just as fast as you can, get over to Hirish. Alright, so everyone is now going to be basically running into fire. So they're going to be firing at us. I'm worried about the safety of this ship. But actually, the fire seems to be concentrated on the Royal John right now. Because, well, they do actually know that my bombs are at the bottom. And that's the bit that's going to kill them. So I can't blame them, really. Oh, dear. What's your plan now, you stupid bastards? Right, you guys get over there. You guys get closer. Just get down and start bombing them. And now, there's nothing they can do. 
Now we basically just bomb those guys from above. Oh yeah, the Royal John, my bomber idea. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh dear, oh dear, oh flipping dear. It looks to me like you're exploding. Because yeah, ammo stores, if they're hit, do explode. Which is, you know, quite reasonable, all things considered. Now, do I want a gentle takeover that leaves the city intact? Or do I want a brutal takeover? City is rapidly no gentle. We're the good guys here, damn it. So that's going to take a little bit of time to take over properly. So I'm assuming right now I don't get any income. Now what's going on over here? Aha! So, there's a fight going on between Canada and, uh, yes, yeah, Spain. Good, that works for me, because my ships weren't damaged there. Now the capital of Vaxenford. Send a spy, that's $100 up front, view the city. Because it looks to me like you stupid bastards have got, yeah, defending your capital, nothing that we didn't just take out. Boom. Lovely. Right. Uh, in which case, deploy the fleet. Invade their capital. Because that's where their shipyard is. If we take that out, that's it. The job is flipping done. There's nothing more they can do. And I think we can do exactly what we just did. At this point, we've taken out their fleet. We've taken out their shipyard. And at that point, yeah, we've won. Boom. Absolutely gorgeous. Though, ooh, there's a couple of islands in the way, mind. Just basically, yeah, just get right up to them. Just go right down... Get right up there. Absolutely beautiful. Where else can you go? You can just get up there. Yeah, just get up on top. Get out of the firing range. And don't, don't hit the Royal John. Why did you just hit the Royal John? That wasn't where I told you to go at all. Right, and now we're just going to bomb them. That looks pretty well armoured, but not much it can do now. Not much at all. And oh, oh yeah. Oh, flipping yeah. Oh, that was the ammo store. That was the ammo store that just blew. Love it. Sexy as anything. Hey guys, I heard you enjoyed shooting at the alligator. Well, the alligator's come back for some revenge. Oh, and this here is a large shipyard. Lardy flipping da. And I think, ooh, this is actually the site. Yeah, brutal takeover. Brutal takeover. And you know what? I think we're just going to invade. Let's finish off the Vaxenfordians. Screw the stupid Vaxenfordians. They should never have attacked us in the first place. No, I don't know what I'm going up against here. Good, it's exactly the same thing as before. And with that, the Royal John swept through Vaxenford and the treacherous Vaxenfordians were no more. And we could, oh, we could even do pillaging. No, let's do a gentle takeover. Gentle takeover. There we go. I think that is the end of the Vaxenfordians, and we now have the grandest empire of all. Okay, we do. Oh, I think, however, the Spanish have decided to come and invade us, which is uh, mildly problematic. Right, well, on our way to going and dealing with that, you guys go and take ring fast. I'm just going to assume that's absolutely fine. It's time for us to design a new ship. I have got the money right now to build something bigger. And Ooh, the last rites. Yeah, we get to keep that name. That's a good name. Right. Let's build something a little bit bigger. How about that? Something a bit more bulky that can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the strongest things the enemy are going to throw at us. So, we keep the suspendium chamber and we keep the coal and we keep the ammo store in the center of the ship so that does not get blown up. Ooh, and this is nice. A crow's nest. Yeah, okay. I'll have a crow's nest right at the top of the ship. Together with just connect that up. So, now I've actually got someone who can just like, you know, chill out to the top of the ship and help with accuracy. That's very, very nice indeed. And the ship is, yeah, not too expensive. Admittedly, it's... That's a very low service ceiling. Hmm. I might want to just kind of stick a balloon on the top of this just to help with that. That's... Very, very close to the ground. Yeah, we'll put a secondary backup suspendium chamber there. Now, this old girl also could do with some better quality armor. Now, right now it starts off with wooden armor by default. Now, if I make it a little bit heavier, at least at the front, that's... Wait, did that just make the service ceiling go up? So, are you saying this is... This is lighter? Are you sure about that? It is. Apparently this armor is lighter than the armor I already have. So screw it. We deserve our own massive, lovely armored ship here. It looks kind of like a flying submarine. And apparently it's going to work better now than it did before. We just need a tiny bit more crew. There we go. A tiny little extra berth with an extra three beds in it means, yeah, the crew is now up to the recommended level. So we're now actually flying at the right level. 
We do have the money to pay for this. I wouldn't mind having a bit of extra... Yeah, a bit of extra armor around the bottom. So a large keel, a massive wooden keel adds a great deal of structural integrity. I'm going to guess this is heavy. This is... Oh, yeah. As nice as that would be, I think not, actually. That, that doesn't really work for me. How about a strut? What does struts do to... Okay, that doesn't do much to the service ceiling. That's absolutely fine. So I'm just going to add, like, a little layer of struts along the top and the bottom, just in case we're fired upon, just for stability reasons. I'm not quite sure what stability reasons, but, you know, it says stability. So I'm just going to put all of them there, and then I'm going to put those two at the back there, because then it looks a little bit more like, you know, an actual spaceship. I don't like those ones, though. Those ones aren't as good. If I was to get rid of those ones, could I put an extra cannon on? Because I probably could, you know. An extra cannon seems like a good idea. Because when is an extra cannon not a... There we go! Extra cannons! And then if I just remove this one module and put an extra berth in there, that'd work. And the whole thing comes in under budget. Admittedly, after we build it, we'll literally only have $10 on the... Oh, I need to put an extra hatch on. Hang on, we need an extra hatch. Because apparently, like, there's not enough doors on the ship or something. And wait, hang on. Remove that. Stick an extra hatch here. Okay, now we've got $8 left in the entire world. But the ship works. Right, so, build one of the last rights. This thing is going to be beautiful. It might take a while to build, but screw it, get on with it. Right, so, that's now in production. Beautiful. Meanwhile, yes, we're about to be attacked at Lightjar. Spain are coming in. Hopefully, Canada is screwed at the minute, and what the heck is that? Right, well, you've got a cool design. I like that design. That's very, very nice indeed. And I've got myself one, yeah, probably the same design as we had last time. So, uh, these guys are just going to basically try and fire. Do you guys have much in the way of cannons? It looks like you've got only two cannons, and... Uh, I'm not quite sure what that armor is, but it feels like you guys are happy being at range. So potentially, we just need to keep an eye on this. Yes, yeah, speed it up. Very often if there's nothing but a tower. Oh, you're coming closer. Good. That lets my guys actually get shot in. And it feels like right now, neither forces... Oh, we've done some damage. All right, my rifle would have done something. They're definitely just slowly picking away at the armor there. This guy's not done much to me, but I've cracked his armor and now he's backing off. And, ooh, ran out of ammunition before it could kill me. Nice. Okay, so I actually win. So that's lovely. Also, I'm so sorry, Canada, but I'm actually about to um invade. So, ooh, oh, Canada, I love your actually kind of Canadian colored fort. That's gorgeous. But once again, it does have the slight problem that it can't aim up. So how about the little ship just hides at the back? Over there. That's absolutely beautiful. And then you, my good man, just basically move over here. And we just kind of do the thing we always do. The same thing we do every night. Just basically try and bomb Canada. And oh my goodness, are you guys actually trying to attack right now? Because that is, that is ballsy of you. That is ballsy right there. How about, well, they're firing back. <laughs> you know what? Apparently they might actually hit each other. Well, I'm going to assume accuracy is a problem. At this flipping range, or at least I really hope it is. And I believe the bombardment of Canada has begun. Right, guys. Bring it down. Bring it down. Bring it down. I should probably actually just rename this ship the decoy. Because it doesn't really do anything aside from being a massive decoy. I love it. Right, okay. Apparently it is still actually under fire right now. So what we should probably do is just, uh, yeah, bring them... Bring them right over here. As soon as I can move them again, just move them right over here and see if we can get them out of the way. But sooner or later, we'll hit the ammo store. They'll run out of ammo and there won't be anything they can do. So that will probably be fine. So you guys just basically head in this direction and here we go. What can we see here? I can see that looks like the ammo store to me and I think it just went kaboom. So at this point, you guys momentarily won't be able to reload anymore. Job flipping done. Nice. And House John expands very, very nicely indeed. And also, I've done some research. I just decided to get some fire extinguishers. Fire extinguishers seem like a good idea. Yeah, there's also a massive research tree that you can fund to varying degrees and all of that business. So, what do I want here? Ooh, telescopes. 
Okay, that seems like a good idea. Or, yeah, the ability to build land ships. Land ships are good. Or, pressurized suspendium tank. That's lift. Okay. Where's the, yeah, the bombers? I like bombers. Bombers are cool. How do I make bombs better? I've just noticed that flamethrowers exist. Yeah, we're working towards flamethrowers. That's the thing we're doing. Also, I think we've got money for now. Um, yeah, Empire of Science. Whack up the research to maximum. Uh, so you guys, return it to House John Capital, if you'd be so kind. And then, yeah, meet up with the last rites, which should, by the time you get there, be able to handle all of this. And then we will have ourselves a, a new mighty fleet. Then, it's time for some cocking revenge. Here we go. The Royal John, the Last Rites, and the Decoy, which I'm actually just going to actually rename the Decoy, because that's actually what it is. Alright, now my fleet of three is ready to go. The question now is, yeah, what happened to the Spanish fleet? Because it naffed off somewhere. Whose fleet is that? I assume that's your fleet. I mean, the thing I should probably do that would make me the most safe would be, yeah, attack any nearby fleet. Then it's going to take them a while to rebuild. So, for that reason, you guys go and invade this territory. Because whatever's here, we should be able to handle it, and then we can just take out their fleet at the same time. And then, no one around me actually has an active fleet ready to go. So, here we go. House John versus the Porks, and... Oh yeah, this'll do the job. This'll do the job right flipping here. So this looks to me like a distinctly small, light, wooden craft. <laughs> yes, yes it does. Uh, how high can you fly? Oh, you really can't fly very high at all. Right, uh, you also... Why can't you fly high? I should probably just put some more stuff on you. What's actually over here, by the way? There's... Do you guys not have any defences? Oh, it was probably taken out by someone else. Right, you guys get down here and shoot up. And obviously the bomber just needs to get over the top of you. So it's three on one right here. I think we should be good. So, oh, and that first bloody massive attack coming in immediately. Right, you guys, get over here. And go, 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 go. Drop the bombs, drop the bombs, drop the bombs. Oh, oh dear. Oh, flipping dear. Oh, the bombers. Oh, the bombers. It's beautiful. Oh, I think they're already falling apart. I think it's already absolutely flipping collapsing. Right, you guys, move over here. Get around the back of them. The bombers should momentarily have another shot coming in. The cannons are doing beautiful work. Just get over here. That island is actually moving in. Come the bombs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think you guys are pretty screwed, actually. I think I'm just... Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Right, okay, I've decided we're now a military dictatorship. Begin the actual pillaging. Lovely. No, actually, just the brutal takeover. Brutal takeover is fine. Right, okay. My territory is getting bigger and harder to defend. Sooner or later, someone else is coming in here. Still, looks like the territory of the Porgs has got almost nothing left in it. Let's go finish those bastards off. Ooh, hello. This is new. You guys have got something different. All right, well, let's just go in the front door with these two. And obviously my bomber will stay up top and we'll see what we can do there. So you, my good man, just get a top as high as you can over all of this lot. And this looks kind of well defended, actually. In fact, I'm, I'm a little bit nervous about how well defended this looks. Especially the, the giant pile of rockets. Yes, I'm... I am concerned by the giant pile of rockets. That's... You should probably back off, actually. You should probably back off. You are moving slowly into position. Oh, cock. Um, oh dear. Um, we may have... We may have bitten off slightly more than we can chew on this occasion. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh no. Right, well, these, yeah, the rockets seem to be extremely inaccurate. Very, very inaccurate. Right, you, get over here and stop bombarding them over there. You, probably the same deal. If you're just over here, you should be able to start hitting those guys with that. You can hopefully stand up front and help out with this business, but... These guys are just taking on rockets directly, but the rockets seem to be, yeah, very, very inaccurate. We're coming in for that. Oh, no! No! No, the Royal John! Oh, no! No, back back off! Back off! Flee! 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 Oh, no, the Royal John. Okay, the decoy surrendered. Do we, do we get it back? 
Okay, the decoy is fine, but it's badly damaged. Right, we, we probably should have sent um spies. Okay, return to the shipyards. Return to the shipyards as quick as you flipping like. Um, so the Royal John is dead. Uh, the city has no defensive buildings. I'm aware we've got explosive rockets. Oh wait, where were the where were the flamethrowers? Flamethrowers! Begin, begin flamethrowing. Right, okay. Um, build another one. Build another one. Build another one of the Royal Johns. Yeah, build one of them. This is the Royal John 3, actually. I know we kind of skipped two, but this is actually the Royal John 3. Right, begin building that. Rebuild the fleet. Everything's going to be fine. Aside from the fact that, oh dear. Several of my territories now don't actually have any defences whatsoever. And Canada has started to... Yeah, Canada's now starting to rock up and take back some of the territory that Spain stole off them. Right, so valuable lesson learnt. Actually bother to spy on capitals before you invade them. Good idea. How about we send a spy over there? What's this city got? This city's got... Okay, you see that? That looks more... Well, there's a lot of cannons, but it's got to be vulnerable to a bomber. Now, are these ships ready to go? This needs to be repaired, by the way. So just repair that up. Lovely. And it looks like territory's starting to recover. We've got good money coming in. Okay. Are the ships now in good shape? Yes, the ships are now back in good shape. Excellent. So now, deploy the fleet. I think we should probably go and actually hit the capital and the shipyards of Spain. I think we can manage that. And that should pretty much screw them over for quite some time. So we're heading over there. Yeah, we should be able to take out that one thing. But apparently, Pagora was extremely flipping well defended. Now I'm going to say we reserve you. Alright, because we don't actually need... Actually, hang on. We do need the decoy. The decoy does have an important job, which is, you know, being a decoy. So, this is fine. Do not deploy anything else. Start... And now, do not activate the last rites. Not yet. Apparently, we can send them in later. I just don't want to. So, get rid of the reserves for the minute. You guys, just move over here and get north of those guys. Okay, I know you're slow. I should probably put a second propeller on these guys. I could retrofit them out with more propellers. They could do with more speed because they do take a fair bit of damage. No, 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 no. Pay attention to this ship. Pay attention to this ship over here. Are you guys okay? I see... No, that's just suspendium. You're not on fire. Okay. Taking some light damage, but you're okay for the time being. Are we ready to begin? Yep, the bombing run has begun at this point. Right, you. Just get around the far side. I'm not sure they've got any cannons at the back here. Oh, no. They might have... Is that one upward facing cannon or is that just decorative? Oh, it doesn't matter. They're very, very dead. Right, brutal takeover. I want that place secured. Send the fleet over here. Let's just start mopping up before Canada gets any stupid ideas. Alright, lovely. Oh, and speaking of Canada, they actually have... Wait, where are the guns? Is that like two muskets on each side? Do you just design this thing just because it looks like a guy? Because if so, top marks, but you will probably die now. Now, on this occasion, I'm hoping that the new fleet should actually do some good work. Because, yeah, that's totally just rifles. So on this occasion... Oh, oh yeah. The last rites will actually have its chance to shine here. And oh, oh yeah. Oh flipping yeah. Get right up to them. Get right up to them. I want them to bleed. Damn it. And fire, 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 fire. Oh, in come the bombs. I've got to say, the bombers are a little bit overpowered. <laughs> okay, note to the devs. The bombers might need depowering. Right, so we've taken over a bit of Canada there. They can be gently taken over. Because Canada, yeah, definitely a gentle takeover. Right, Deploy the fleet and... Uh-oh. Ringfast has broken away. Right, I may need a stronger secret police, you say. Stronger secret police. Very well. Severe secret police. There we go. So we'll need to go and pick up Ringfast again. Well, that's fine. I'll deal with them on my way to dealing with Canada. Now, I'm not sure what's actually here, but... Canada, I'm sorry. I don't like you actually having a... Flamethrowers. I like flamethrowers. Flamethrowers seem good. Now we've got... Oh, bloody hell. Right, I don't even want to destroy that. I don't know what it actually is. I'm not sure if it's got... Does it not have any weapons? Where are its weapons? I'm not sure it's got weapons. I think it might just be... Yeah, I think this is just basically a peaceful Canadian vessel. That's not going to stop me, by the way. But, you know, oh. Now, I have realised one small problem. 
which is it can fly higher than my bomber can and oh yeah we've we might have trouble here we might have a lot of trouble right you over there you over here it might be too high i can't bomb it and the last rights is going to struggle to hit the damn thing and also there's no there's no defense here fine start we'll see what happens we'll just basically bomb it with the last rights and we'll see what we can do because right now what weapons does this thing have um does it have any um i'm not sure it does i think i've just invaded canada and now i'm just blowing up their tourist cruise ships because i'm not i'm not seeing any counter fire come off this thing i'm so sorry canada i'm so so sorry and there we go, Canada's ships are- oh, oh dear. It's managed to recover. No, it's not. The other suspendium's gone. And it hits the ground. There we go. The day is indeed ours. I'm just- I'm not sure we should have done that. Oh, the Herald. I'm so sorry. Right, we will take you over gently though. This will be a gentle takeover. Right, also, send a spy. What's Canada got guarding itself here? I think we can handle that. Yeah, I think we can- in fact, actually- Okay, I've decided we've just, you know, we're just going to buy Canada. Like, that's probably the nicest way to do it. Like, I don't want to cause trouble with Canada. Lovely country, lovely people. So we're just going to infiltrate the city. There we go. And now we're going to view the city and... Can I just cause a rebellion? Oh, well, we need to go and bomb some of it at least. You know what? No, I'm going to leave them be. I'm going to 100% leave them be because I've now got a giant pile of money. So... New plan. Uh, over at House John, build a new ship. I want a second Royal John. But no, wait, hang on. We need to, to modify this, okay? We need to actually make some, some changes to the design. So, the Royal John. Right, so, what I need to do is make this thing faster. Because its speed is too low. The service ceiling is great, but the speed is just way, way, way too low. So, this thing needs to be got up to, uh, yeah... There we go, 116 kilometers an hour. That should be fine. The service ceiling is a tiny bit lower, but not too much. So, save the design. That's absolutely lovely. So, now that's all done. Yep, save that there. Overwrite the original. Okay, now leave. Now that we've done that, build a new Royal John. So, the new Royal John has extra propellers. So, build one of them. That's all absolutely fine. Lovely. So, get that underway. Uh, the rest of the fleet can now actually return home because the original Royal John now needs to be retrofitted to match that design. There we go. Extra propellers, perform a refit, and that should be A-OK. -okay. The decoy can also be repaired, as can the last rights. So now we're just basically waiting for all of this to just tick over together. Hopefully Canada is not going to cause trouble for me. I have recently done some bad damage to them. So the shipyards are now just performing repairs and also ammunition now explodes less if it's mine. That's good. Oh wait, hang on, flamethrowers. I did want flamethrowers, yes. Yes, I've decided that from now on the decoy is going to be armed with flamethrowers because it's not just a decoy anymore. It's also very good at setting things on fire. So please refit that. Lovely. Thank you. So that's the refit going on there. Now, with all these ships, the new fleet, I think it's time for revenge against Pagora. This time, this time we can handle it because my bombers can get into position a lot faster. All right, everything's going to be 100% fine. And these guys have, oh, they've actually redesigned and rebuilt a little bit. So this time, yeah, I've got two bombers and I've also got myself, yeah, the actual, uh, the new style decoy. And we've got this girl over here. And I've got my two bombers that can now move a lot flipping faster. So they can get into position and start bombing the hell out of all of this. Now, I might lose the decoy or the rest of it, but it's fine. Okay, begin. Begin, begin, begin. You just need to get right up here and just flamethrower this guy right away. In fact, actually, probably the best thing you can do is get over... Screw it. Just, just get in there. Get in there and flamethrower everything you can. Okay, you just get right up in front of them and then just start blasting them a point blank range. All right, you, my good man, just head over here and start bombing this bit over here. 
you, my good man, get over here and start bombing these few. Now, everybody go, and there we go. Everybody just head in, and there's a lot of rocket fire. Okay, little bit of on fire over there, little bit of on fire. The decoy is providing lovely cover. Some rockets are being fired directly upwards. There's a lot of upward fire. No, 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 no. There's a lot of upward fire. There's there's way more upward fire. The decoy is dead. The Royal John, one of the Royal Johns is dead. One of the other. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Flee, flee, flee. Okay, we've learned a valuable lesson. Just don't, don't attack Pagora. You know what, ladies and gentlemen? I think you get the point. This here is Airships Conquer the Skies, and it's a tiny little indie game with ambitions so, so high, but it actually manages to meet them. It's absolutely lovely. It feels big and visceral, and okay, it could do with a little bit of balance. Like, yeah, that bomb was just a little bit too good at taking out some of the outposts and cleaning up some territory. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it feels big and lovely and explosions and rockets and, uh, yeah, well done to Mr. David Stark, who apparently made Airships Conquer the Skies, because for a tiny indie game, this is, yeah, quite a remarkable achievement. Link in the description below to this. Very, very thoroughly recommended indeed. And, yeah, hopefully, if I'm very, very lucky indeed, I can find more indie games of this calibre, because, oh, yeah, this is... Uh, quite how they should be done. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd, and this has been Airships Conquer the Skies. Thank you very much, and goodbye. I've created a small problem in my road system, which is uh, it's literally impossible for anyone to ever go back into town. And this building shall be where we produce our zebras. And this much taller building next door is naturally where we produce the giraffes. Does anyone remember how the road system went? I think it was something like this.